you people need to understand that the judgment of God is at the door for this nation. The judgment of God is nigh, America. And when that day comes, you people are going to piss and defecate yourself. When that day comes, you will piss and defecate yourself in fear and utter terror. You won't be smiling. You won't be laughing. Your mockery and your rejection of Jesus Christ will come to an end. Hillary Rotten Clinton. That's who you people worship. Hillary Rotten Clinton. And that filthy scumbag pervert, William Jefferson Clinton. Shame on you. Woe be unto your soul, America. The show of their countenance doth witness against them. The show of their countenance doth witness against them. Behold, they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. You declare your sin as Sodom. You hide it not. God says, Woe be unto your soul. Woe be unto your soul. You better repent. Not much longer. All your high looks, all your proud, haughty looks, God is going to bring them low. All your proud, haughty looks, all your high-mindedness is going to come crashing down when Jesus Christ visits you. saith the Lord God, how ye, for woe worth the day. Woe worth the day, Tampa. Woe unto the bloody city. Woe unto the bloody city of Tampa. It's no surprise that you would have a witch like Hillary Clinton come and speak today. Somebody's hands who are full of blood and murder. Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton should be Hillary. Hillary Rotten Clinton. That's her name. 
Hillary Rotten Clinton and Bill the adulterous pig Clinton on their way to hell and if you're following these people you're surely on your way to hell you better repent shame on this wicked city for hosting such trash like this today you got one murderer on this side then you got a fag queen on the other in this wicked filthy place this wicked filthy place you're gonna you're gonna bring one murderer in here to tell people lies and continue to bewitch people with their charms and spells and then you got an abomination on the other side some fag queen some filthy detestable vile scum that you got on the other side this place is in trouble with God this place the Bible said the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked the curse of the Lord is in stars center stars center wicked you better turn to Jesus Christ you better repent that's what the Bible says to you it says to repent and turn yourself from your idols turn away your faces from all your abominations from all your abominations but you haven't turned from your abominations Tampa you haven't turned from your wicked way Tampa you continue to strengthen the hand of the wicked you continue to murder children you continue to promote the LGBTQ P pedophile perverts you continue to walk hand in hand with the devil Tampa and don't think for one second that your judgment lingereth not don't think for one second that your damnation slumbereth not Tampa Bay you are in trouble with a holy God you have provoked the Lord God of hosts unto anger with your sin and wickedness you provoke the Lord God unto anger with your sin and wickedness why don't you get what you don't deserve why don't you get what you don't deserve which is grace there's no grace in there there's no mercy to be found in there God would have mercy on those who come out of that filth God would have mercy on those who come out of that wickedness God would have mercy on them who would repent but if you're following this trash you are not right with God you're in trouble and as the as the banner says the wrath of God abides upon the children of disobedience and that's what we have before us today in this filthy city the children of disobedience you're disobedient to a holy God you have gone far from a holy God you've left off the God of the Bible you've rejected the Word of God and you've left off the law of the Lord of hosts you despise the God of the Bible and that's fine God despises you just the way you are that's why you need to repent so you don't get hell fire which you have coming to you hell fire that's your destination following this blind guide Hillary rotten Clinton Hillary rotten Clinton she's a witch she's a high witch she's a Satanist and you follow her you follow the Satanist straight to hell you follow the blind leader of the blind and what happens Jesus said to the blind if they lead the blind they'll both fall into the ditch they'll both fall into the ditch those who are following these wicked leaders these ungodly leaders on the world stage the Donald Ducks the Donald Ducks the Hillary Rotten Clintons the Kamala Hindu goddess Harris's you're following these blind guides these blind leaders of the blind straight into the ditch they're all corrupted they're all perverted in their ways and all they do is lie to people all they do is lie to people all they do is keep you suppressed they look at you as cattle you people they don't look at you as anything more anything less just a just another pawn in the game for the new world order that's coming just another pawn in the game for the great deception that's going to fall on this nation for the great deception that's going to fall on this nation this nation's already in derision 
This nation's already turned over to lies. This nation's already full of corruption. That's why we parade the homos in the streets. That's why we shed up. We stack up babies' blood on the altar of Moloch. We stack up babies' blood on the child of on the altar of child sacrifice. Wicked and ungodly. Wicked and ungodly. You people better repent. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's your only hope. Jesus 2024. 20, That's the only hope of this filthy, wicked nation, this fag infested nation, this baby murdering nation, this stupefied and drunkenness and witchcraft and sorcery, weed smoking nation. That's the only hope for this nation is Jesus Christ. That's the only hope is that this nation would be like Nineveh in the Bible and repent. Every single person would repent and turn back the wrath of God that's going to come upon this nation very, very soon. 70 million babies or more that this nation has butchered. 70 million or more babies that this nation has murdered. And you think Adolf Hitler was evil? You think Adolf Hitler was bad? This nation's done worse than Adolf Hitler. This nation's done worse than Nazi Germany. This nation's murdered the most precious in the womb. On what? For the altar of convenience? The altar of convenience so they can, these women and these men can continue to be whores and whoremongers and sleep around and think that there's not consequence. That's why God puts the adulterer and the fornicator into hell fire if they don't repent. Yes, Jesus Christ will make you free from being an adulterer and a fornicator. Those who have turned, truly turned from their sins are no longer those things. Those who have truly turned from those, those sins and that wickedness, they live for Jesus Christ. They have ceased from sin and they live, they spend their time according to the will of God, not the works of the flesh. Not obeying the works of the flesh, but that's what you people come out to do. Have your ears tickled by this witch, this cackling witch, this ungodly witch who's going to burn an everlasting fire. She sold her soul on the dotted line. She signed that covenant in blood to run with the devil and her wicked husband, her Ahab husband, her Ahab ungodly husband, William Jefferson Clinton. All members of the secret societies, just like Donald the Jesuit duck, they're all members of the secret societies playing the American people, playing you right into the trap, leading you as sheep led to the slaughter. You're going to be destroyed. It's time to wake up. It's time to repent, Tampa. What's it going to be? All God has to do is muster up a Category 5 in the Gulf, and He'll level this city. It'll take nothing more, nothing less. How many more bullets are you going to dodge, Tampa Bay, before God wipes you off the face of the earth for your sin and wickedness? Before God wipes you off the face of the earth for your sin and wickedness? Time to humble yourself. Time to consider if your ways. Consider your ways today. Turn to Jesus Christ. Surrender to the God of the Bible, who's holy, who's just, who's righteous, who's true. And he puts the wicked, like Hillary, rotten Clinton, right into hellfire. And you're going to go with her. You're going to go with her if you don't repent. You will not go unpunished. The Bible said, if the wicked join hand in hand, they shall not go unpunished. You're not going to go unpunished. You're not going to go unpunished for your wickedness and sin. You're not going to go unpunished for your wickedness and sin. You better fear God, young man. You better fear God. You better fear the God of the Bible. You won't be tough on Judgment Day. You won't be hurling insults over the shoulder on Judgment Day. You won't be running your mouth on Judgment Day. You're going to give an account to a holy God, and you're not ready. You're not ready for that day if you're living in sin, if you're having sex outside of marriage, if you're watching pornography, if you're a filthy hand fag masturbator. You're in trouble with a holy God. God's going to cast you into hellfire. God puts the wicked into hell. That's what God does. And that's what God will do unto the wicked on that day. Hillary Rotten Clinton. This is your wake-up call. 
God is calling you to repentance. Might be the last time. Might be the last time. Might be the last day you have a day to turn from all your wickedness. Might be the last day for some of you people that you have an opportunity set before you to repent and be saved. You have an opportunity set before you to turn to the God of the Bible and be reconciled to him through Jesus Christ our Lord. This might be your last opportunity for you worshipers of these idols. And that's nothing more, nothing less what they are to you people. You look at these people like they're gods. But there's only one God and one mediator between God and men. The man Christ Jesus who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Yes, Jesus Christ will judge the quick and the dead. Jesus Christ is coming back not to pass out water and give you a hug and blow you a sweet little kiss. Jesus Christ is coming back in flaming fire, taking vengeance upon them that know not God and that do not obey the gospel. You don't obey the gospel. You don't obey the Lord. You walk after the flesh. And the Bible said you walk after the flesh, ye shall surely die. You're going to die and you're going to meet God. You're going to die and you're going to stand in judgment before God. And you're not ready if you're going in there. You are not ready if you're going in there. You're not ready if you're trying to silence the word of God going forth. It means you're in big trouble. I hope you two aren't faggots. I hope you two aren't fags. That'd be a shame. That's dirty. That's wicked. That's sick. That's vile. That's detestable in the sight of God. God hates that. That's why God rained fire and brimstone down on Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis 19. God destroyed the first colony of Sodomites. He absolutely destroyed the first colony of Sodomites. Just like he's going to destroy that fag queen, Bob the fag queen. He's going to destroy him with everlasting fire. He's going to destroy him with unquenchable fire if he doesn't repent. That's what you people need to do. Fear God. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's what the Bible says. That's the whole duty of man, it says. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether it be good or evil. All Hillary, all Hillary Rotten Clinton's, all her works, all her wickedness, all the murder that she has committed, all the lies that she's told, all the people that she has done dirty, it's all going to come back on the day of judgment. You can't escape the judgment of God. Your only hope is Jesus Christ. Your only hope is to turn to Jesus Christ. Your only hope is to repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Times of refreshing come from the Lord Jesus Christ when you repent, when you humble yourself. There's nobody in there walking in there that's, that knows the Lord. Not one single person walking in this building today knows the Lord. Jesus said, ye shall know them by their fruits. What is your fruit? What's the fruit of your life? You'll follow a murderer. You'll praise a murderer. You're going to get in here and clap your hands for this bloodshed, disgusting, abominable witch, Hillary Rotten Clinton. That's what you're going to do. You're going to praise Hillary Rotten Clinton. You're going to worship her. And God says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Him only shalt thou serve. What do you serve? You serve a cackling witch. You serve a murderous witch. You serve a devil named Hillary Rotten Clinton. Bible said, he that committeth sin is of the devil. And we know that Hillary has committed much sin. Hillary's a murderer. Hillary is a murderer. She even had United States soldiers murdered in Benghazi to what? To profit? To profit? To, to get more dishonest gain? That's the fruit of Hillary Rotten Clinton's life. Hillary Rotten Clinton. 
the witch. That's what she is. She's a witch. Her husband's an Ahab, child of the devil. And you better repent, people. You are following her straight to the furnace. Straight to the furnace of fire where Jesus Christ said, As the tares are gathered together and burned into fire, so shall it be at the end of this world when the Son of Man shall send his angels to gather forth out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. They shall be cast into a furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. There's going to be wailing and gnashing of teeth on that day. There's going to be a furnace of fire that awaits the wicked, that awaits those who walk in disobedience to God, that awaits those who live a life of sin and wickedness. And if you're coming in here, it's a sure sign you live a life of sin and wickedness. If you're coming in here, it's a sure sign you're on your way to hell. You better wake up. That's right. You're on your way to hell at neck break speed, woman. Neck break speed. You better fear God. You better fear the Lord. It's time to fear God. That's the beginning of wisdom is to fear God. The beginning of knowledge is to fear God. Understanding comes by fearing God. And you don't fear God if you follow this person. If you follow this wicked worker of iniquity, Hillary Rotten Clinton, you do not fear God. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's a fearful thing. The Lord says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And that's what's going to happen one day when God requires your soul. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. Yes, that's a guaranteed. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither the father the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. The wickedness of the wicked will be upon him. That's you people. The transgressors and the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. You're going to be rooted out of the earth by a holy, righteous God who's angry with the wicked every day. They didn't teach you that in Sunday school. They didn't teach you that at your Babel building business you call church. God is angry with the wicked every day. God hates this event right here. God hates this event right here. God is angry with this event right here. Why? Because the lead speaker is a murderer. The lead speaker here is a murderer. Hillary, Hillary, Rotten Clinton's a murderer. And you're going to go cheer her on. You're going to go praise and worship her. You better fear Jesus Christ. God will repay. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will recompense. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Fearful. Fearful for you people on that day. When you drop dead and you're judged. Heaven or hell when you die. Heaven or hell when you die. Jesus said, if you do not believe that I am he, ye shall die in your sin. I say unto you, ye shall die in your sin. You're going to die in your sin and wickedness, and your only hope is Jesus Christ. And if you truly come to the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not love this world. You'll hate the world. Bible said to love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world passes away in the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God, he abides forever. It's those that do God's will that abide forever. It's those that obey God, they abide forever. It's those who walk in holiness that are born again of the Holy Ghost. 
and walk in true holiness and righteousness, they abide forever. And you're following a wolf. You are following a devil straight to the lake of fire, straight to hell fire. Thou shall be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. That's what's going to happen to you if you don't repent. You will be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit, where there's wailing and weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus Christ said, If your hand causes you to offend, cut it off. For it would be better for you to walk maimed into life than having two hands to go into hell, where the fire shall never be quenched, where the worm dieth not, and the fire is never quenched. He said, if your foot causes you to offend, if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. For it would be better for you to enter halt into life than having two feet to go into hell, where the fire shall never be quenched, where the worm dieth not, and the fire is never quenched. He said, if your eye causes you to sin, if your eye causes you to offend, pluck it out. Pluck out your eyeball. Cast it from you. It would be better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Hell fire. Where the fire shall never be quenched. Where the worm dieth not. And the fire is never quenched. That's the words of Jesus Christ that your little pretty little Babel building, if you claim to be a Christian, is not going to talk to you about. That's the Jesus Christ that the little pretty fake Baptists and the fake Methodists and the Pentecostals, all these fakes out here, these habitations of hell out here aren't going to tell you. They're not going to tell you to turn from your wicked way. They're not going to tell you you can't have Jesus Christ and be a fan of Hillary Clinton at the same time. doesn't work that way. You can't serve two masters. You cannot serve two masters. Who are you serving? Who do you people serve? It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious what you serve. And Jesus said you cannot serve two masters. For ye will either hate the one and love the other, or you will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God in mammon. You cannot serve God in sin. You cannot serve God in your idols. You need to cut your idols off. You need to cease from serving your idols. You need to cease from serving Hillary Rotten Clinton. Hillary Rotten Clinton. That's what she is. And Ahab William Jefferson Clinton. Ahab William Jefferson Clinton. Nothing but a porn pervert. Nothing but a porn pervert sitting up in your presidential office. Just like Donald Duck. Nothing but a porn pervert. You think Hillary's any better? You think Hillary Clinton's any better? She's a murderer. Her and William Jefferson Clinton are murderers. They should be thrown in prison. In the, the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, in the law of Moses, they would have been hung from a tree for their wickedness. You ought to be thanking God he don't do that no more. He gives you a space to repent. He gives you a space to repent. And you're not repenting. You people aren't repenting. You're following a blind guide. You're following a blind leader of the blind, and you're going to bust hell wide open except you repent. Jesus Christ had a strong message for you people. Except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. That's the message of Jesus Christ that this little limp-wristed half a fag church of America don't want to talk about today. He said, the whole world hates me because I pass out water and tell people I love them. No, he said, the whole world hates me because I testify of it that its works are evil. They didn't put Jesus Christ on a cross because he's some long-haired little hippie half a fag. They put Jesus Christ on the cross because he testified against the wicked that their way was wicked and evil. And he called them to repentance. That's what true Christians do. True Christians testify against a wicked society. True Christians don't stand on the side of evil. Woe unto them that call evil good. Good evil. That's what we do in this nation. We exchange the truth for a lie. We exchange the truth for a lie. And that's why you're in trouble. Christ is king, brother. Christ is king, hey. brother.
bless you. Can I get you something to read? Sure. I got my coat right here, so I'm good, but... No, no, no. No, no, I'm good, man. You can just give it to one of the kids. We're in the same house. Okay. There you go. Thanks, sir. One more Thank you, God sir. Bless. Thank you. All right. God bless you. God Trust bless Jesus you Christ. Too. Trust Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I teach uh, kindergarten Bible study. Praise so. the Lord. Praise the Lord. you got to obey him. Right. Right. If you if you deny me before men, I'll deny you before the Father in heaven. Yeah, that's right. Jesus Christ said, Whosoever cometh after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Let him deny himself. And that's what people aren't doing today. They're not denying themselves. They're not taking up their cross. They're not following Jesus. They're following a lie. You can't hold to a lie and go to heaven. You can't hold to a lie. You can't follow Hillary Rotten Clinton and think you're going to go to heaven. It doesn't work that way. God is angry with the wicked every day. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. To cut off their remembrance from the earth. It says in the Psalm 34, the face of the Lord is against this wicked place right here that has Hillary Rotten Clinton in it tonight, today. And tonight it's going to have Bob the Fag Queen on the other side. That filthy faggot is going to burn in everlasting fire except he repents. Except he repents. Repent. That's the message. Repent or perish. That's what the men of God, the men of the, uh, the Bible preached that God commandeth all men everywhere. He commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness. Jesus Christ is coming back to judge this world in righteousness are you righteous are you righteous if you're going in there you're unrighteous and the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god be not deceived neither fornicators that's those having sex outside of marriage nor adulterers it's a man who cheats on his spouse, woman who cheats on her spouse, an adulterer, an idolater. Jesus said, if you look upon a woman to lust after her, you've committed adultery already in your heart. That goes for women too. Adulterers, idolaters, that's you people. Idolaters. This is your God right here. Hillary Rotten Clinton. That's your God idolaters Bible said drunkards revilers extortioners the effeminate that's a man who acts like a woman abusers of themselves with mankind that's a homosexual that's a faggot that's a lesbian that's a dyke he said these people will not inherit the kingdom of God they will not be in God's kingdom they will be in hell that's where they will be if they do not repent. If they do not repent. If they do not turn from their sin. They will go to hell forever. And when you go to hell, there's no getting out. There's no escape for you when you go to hell. There'll be no second chances there. There'll be no water there. Nothing but fire. Nothing but torment. Nothing but you thinking about all the times you rejected Jesus Christ. Nothing but you thinking about all the times you rejected God's word. And if you're going in here, it's for certain you're a Christ-rejecting fool. You're a Christ-rejecting fool. You're going in this filthy place today. You're a Christ-rejecting fool. God calls you a fool because you hear his word and you do it not. 
He said, those that hear my words and do them, I'll liken them unto a wise man which built this house upon the rock. That's those that hear the word of God and do it. Their foundation is Jesus Christ. Those that hear the word of God and do it, they've put their faith in Jesus Christ and they obey Jesus Christ. But those that hear the word of God and do it not, God said he likens you unto a fool. And if you're following Hillary, rotten Clinton, you are a fool according to God's word. Why? Because Hillary, rotten Clinton's a murderer. Hillary, rotten Clinton is a witch. Hillary, rotten Clinton is a Satanist. You people better wake up. You better wake up. You're in big danger. You're in danger of God's wrath. You're in danger of God's indignation. You're in danger of God's fierce fury. You despise God and God despises you. You walk contrary to God and he says he'll walk contrary to you in fury. And that's what's going to happen. Fury, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, that doeth evil, turn ye from your evil way and from the evil of your doings, Tampa Bay. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil way, for why will you die in your sin? Why will you die in your sin? Why will you die a drunkard? Why will you die a pot smoker? Why will you die a murder supporter that's who you support you support murder when you come to this building to go listen to this witch lie to you Hillary rotten Clinton you better wake up you better turn from your sin and wickedness you better fear God that's the whole duty of man the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. To depart from evil is understanding. To depart from evil is understanding. To depart from evil will save your own soul. But what do you want? You don't care about your soul. You care about your flesh. You care about pleasing your flesh. You care about walking after the flesh. And they that are in the flesh cannot please God. You don't please God. You walk after the flesh. You don't walk after the spirit. The spirit of the Lord lives soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. You don't have to wait to die to live holy. If God has given you his Holy Spirit, he has empowered you to live holy. But there's not one person living holy going to support this murderer, this witch. Hillary Rotten Clinton. You're not right with God. You're in trouble with the Holy God. You're going to face God in judgment. And you're not ready because you've rejected Jesus Christ. You've rejected the truth. You've rejected the way of salvation. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears uncircumcised. They cannot hearken. The word of the Lord is a reproach unto them. They have no delight in it. You don't have any delight in it. But those who love the Lord, the Bible says, but their delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law that they meditate day and night. But you, you do not delight in the word of the Lord. Were you ashamed when you commit abominations? Nay, you're not ashamed at all. Neither could you blush. Therefore, you shall fall. Among them that fall, saith the Lord, in the day when I will visit. Yes, God's going to visit you people. In the day that I will visit, you shall be cast down. In the day that God visits Hillary, rotten Clinton, she's going to have a big fall. It's going to be a big fall for Hillary, rotten Clinton. It's going to be a big fall face first right into hell because she has rejected Jesus Christ straight into hell for those who reject Jesus Christ Jesus Christ said he that re he, he that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words 
hath one that will judge him. The word, the same which I've spoken, shall judge him in the last day. You're going to be judged by the word of God. That's all that's going to matter on that great day. The word of God. That's what Jesus said. And he said, if you reject his word, he's going to reject you. If you reject his word, you will be rejected into everlasting fire. He will say unto those on the left hand in Matthew 25, he says to those on the left hand, depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. He will say to you, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. And that's what you people do. You work your iniquity. That's what the city of Tampa does. Works its iniquity with filthy events like Gasparilla, with abortion mills all throughout this city, all throughout St. Petersburg and abound murder mills, and then they have the great witch, the murderer herself, Hillary Rotten Clinton, come and speak. What an abomination. What an abomination this place. This filthy, detestable, vile place. This scum-filled place. That's what's being it filled tonight with. It's getting filled tonight with a bunch of scum. They're going to worship Hillary Rotten Clinton on one side, and they're going to go worship Bob the Fag Queen on the other side. Wicked, ungodly, vile, sick in the sight of God, detestable. You police should be arresting Bob the Fag Queen. You police should be arresting that, fer that pervert Bob the Fag Queen. He should be taken to jail tonight. He shouldn't be allowed to perform on stage and be a filthy sodomite. He should be taken to prison. You should take that witch Hillary Rotten Clinton to prison. She's a murderer. You better repent, people. You are in trouble with the God of the Bible. And you're not going to be saying to God, well, I was just security, God. I was just, a, I was just doing my job, God. And God's going to say, you chose to do wrong. You chose to stand with evil. You chose to de defend evil. There is no respecter of persons with God. There is no respecter of persons with God. Woe unto you, Tampa. You call evil good and good evil. You'll call what I'm doing right now evil. Most of you scum going in there. You'll call what I'm doing evil. But God says to you, woe unto you who call evil good and good evil evil you better repent you better consider the goodness and severity of god you better consider the goodness and the goodness of god right now is that you got a beating heart and breath in your lungs and you can repent and get right with god that's the goodness of god right now that's the mercy of god you don't want the severity of god you don't want the severity of God, and that's him taking you straight into hellfire. That's him killing you and putting you right into hellfire. Yes, the God of the Bible kills people. He says, I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal. And if I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my adversaries and reward them that hate me. That's what God's going to do to the wicked. That's what God's going to do to Hillary Rotten Clinton. He's going to reward her because she has hated him. He's going to reward you because you've hated him. You've despised his words. You've despised his holiness. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory holy 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 the lord jesus christ which was and is and is to come he's the same yesterday today and forever he says i am the lord i change not the god of the bible is the same yesterday today and forever he didn't have some type of uh, amnesia and forget that he hates homos he didn't have some type of amnesia and forget that he's going to put the drunkard into hellfire. He didn't have some t some type of amnesia and and forget that he's going to put witches like 
Hillary rotten Clinton right into hellfire. If you don't repent, if you don't turn from your sin, God's going to repay you people to your face to destroy you. Bible said in Deuteronomy chapter number 7 and verse 9, Know therefore the Lord thy God, for he is God, the true and faithful God, and he keepeth covenant and mercy to them that love him, and keep his commandments unto a thousand generations. And he repayeth them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will repay them that hate them, that hate God to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack concerning them that hate him. He will repay you to your face. He's going to repay that scumbag Bill Clinton to his face. He's going to repay that scumbag Hillary Rotten Clinton to her face to destroy her. You better fear God. And if you're found on that side, if you're found on the side of scum, you're going to burn like scum in the fire. You better repent. You better fear God. You better come out from among them like the Bible says and be separate. Touch not the unclean thing. And what you're going to do, you're going to go love your idol. You're going to go worship that cackling murderous witch. That cackling murderous witch. She's like a thorn. She's like a scorpion, a briar. Cursed. Ready to be burned in everlasting fire. Ready to be burned in the furnace of fire. Ready to be burned with unquenchable fire. Lest God pour his fury out like fire and it burns and it shall not be quenched because of the evil your doings. Because of the evil your doings. Because of the wickedness. And Jesus Christ said, repent therefore of this thy wickedness. Repent therefore of this thy wickedness. And pray God. You better pray God. That perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and the bond of iniquity, the bondage of sin, the bond of iniquity, slave to sin, a slave to iniquity. You better stop your sin. You better stop your sin. He that committeth sin is the servant of sin, and a servant abideth not in the house forever, but a son abideth forever. Therefore, if the Son, Jesus Christ, shall make you free, shall be free indeed. Jesus makes free. The only way to freedom, the only way to truth, the only way to have hope is through the Son of God who died on the cross for you. He shed every ounce of his precious blood for you. He was mocked. He was beaten. He was bruised for you. He was scourged. He was nailed to the cross for you. He poured out every ounce of his precious blood for you. And what do you do? What do you people do? What, do the, what does America do? America lives, acts, talks, and will follow their father, the devil, straight to hell. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God, that forget God. This nation's going to be turned into hell because it has forgotten God. How, do you, how, does, how does one know that America has forgotten God? Well, you have fag parades every year. You still murder babies and call that health care. Wicked. You still flood arenas like this to worship witches like Hillary Rotten Clinton. Shame on you people. Woe be unto thee. Woe be unto your soul, saith the Lord God. Woe be unto you today. Lay apart all filthiness. Lay apart all filthiness, says the Lord, and superfluity and naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Be ye a doer of the word, not a hearer only, deceiving your own selves. Deceive your own selves. You believe a lie with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they would 
they all might be damned because they believe a lie and had pleasure in unrighteousness. That's America today. You believe a lie and you have pleasure in unrighteousness. You eat, you drink, you say tomorrow we die, but you're not ready to die and meet Jesus Christ. You're not ready to die and stand before the God of creation. You're not ready to die and give an account to the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not ready to die. If God swallowed that filthy building up tonight and took you quick down in the pit, that would be your bitter end. That would be your bitter end. That would be your destruction. That would be your reward for your unrighteousness. That would be your reward for your ungodly, wicked way. That would be your reward if God did what he did in the book of Numbers and he swallowed up this filthy place, this fag queen, Bob the fag queen, and Hillary Rotten Clinton. Oh, God would be just. God's not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You want to reap destruction, keep mocking God, sinner. You want to, you want to reap destruction, keep being a God mocker. It might be your last day today. And if it were, well, where are you going to be? You're going to be found mocking God. Terrible place to be. Mocking God like Hillary Rotten Clinton. Hillary Rotten Clinton. She's rotten. She's sick. She's vile. She's puke in the eyes of God. She needs to repent. She needs to repent. She's a murderer. Hillary Rotten Clinton murders. And it's all known. It's all to be found. You can find all this information out. You can find all this information out. This, this information isn't hidden. It's no, no, no secret that these people are Satanists. It's no secret that these people are among the secret societies. It's no secret that these people are, are part of the secret societies. Hillary Rotten Clinton is nothing but a satanic priestess for the satanic church. That's what she is. And what do we do in America? We praise these people. We praise these people, these satanic sellouts, these murderous bastards. That's what we do in America. We praise them. God hates your wickedness. God is going to repay you people. You're not going to claim ignorance on the day of judgment. You're not going to claim ignorance on the day when you stand before the Lord. You're not going to say, Lord, I didn't know. Oh, you had every opportunity to seek the truth out for yourself, but you chose to believe a lie. You chose to live a lie. You chose to believe a lie. You chose to reject the salvation of God. You chose to reject Jesus Christ. You chose to reject salvation from the Lord. Jesus said, I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. There's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. At the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Jesus Christ is Lord. You're going to bow your knee to a man, you feminists. You feminists, you're going to bow your knee to a man, you feminist pigs, and he's going to cast your sorry carcass right into hellfire, right into the lake of fire if you don't repent, right into everlasting fire except you turn from your wicked way. Repent. Time to repent. It's do or die when it comes to Jesus Christ. It's do or die when it comes to Jesus Christ. You're either going to do what he says or you're going to die. You're going to go straight to hell. You're either going to do what Jesus Christ says or you're going to die. It's pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty easy to understand, people. Pretty easy to understand. It's not difficult. It's not rocket science. Heaven or hell. Heaven or hell. Heaven or hell, people. Heaven or hell when you die. And if you're going in there, you're not going to be in heaven. If you're going in there, you're not going to be found in God's heaven. You're going to be in hell with Hillary, rotten Clinton. You're going to be in hell with Hillary, rotten Clinton. 
and William Jefferson Clinton, that pervert, that pig, that pig. William Jefferson Clinton's a pig. Hillary Rotten Clinton's a pig. Sick in the sight of God. That's fuel for God's furnace. Fuel for the fire. You people are going to be fuel for God's fire. He's going to make you fuel to the fire. He's going to melt you in the mist thereof. And thou shalt be no more remembered when the Lord shall pour out his fury upon you people. You better repent. Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance, long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. That's what the goodness of God will do. It's when you open your eyes and you see the truth for what it is. That's the goodness of God. Outside of that, you're going to get wrath. Outside of that, you're going to get God's anger. His anger is going to burn and it's not going to be quenched. It's time to fear God. This ain't no little limp-wristed 501c3 pulpit pimp Baptist coming out here telling you lies. This is the truth in your face. The kingdom of God is in your face today. Star Center, this filthy place. Fallen Star Center. Fallen Star Center. Filthy Star Center. The kingdom of God is in your face today. What's it going to be? I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. I set before you the way of life, way of death, blessing and cursing. Wherefore, choose life that down thy seed may live. You better choose life. You better choose Jesus Christ. You better choose the way of the cross, not the way of the wicked. Not the way of Hillary Rotten Clinton. Wicked. Woe, woe unto the wicked. Woe unto the wicked, for it shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. You're going to receive the reward for your wickedness. You're going to receive the reward for your wickedness. For your ungodly ways, your ungodly deeds. And Enoch the seventh from Adam prophesied, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers and complainers walking after their own lusts and whose mouths speak great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh which shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, that's all the faggots in the queers, all the proud, that's America, yea, all that do wickedly shall be a stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. It shall neither leave them root nor branch. That day that's coming is going to burn you people up. That day that's coming is going to be terrible. That day of, that's coming is going to be dreadful. That day is a day of wrath. A day of the trumpet and a day of alarm. And you are not heeding the alarm. You are not heeding the trumpet. I have set watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. We don't want to listen. We don't want to listen to that God. We don't want to know the truth. We don't want to listen to the God of the Bible. We don't want to obey the voice of the Lord. We don't want to obey our conscience. We don't want to obey God's word. What you want to obey is your flesh. You want to obey your selfish desires your selfish ambitions, your self-seeking, self-pleasing, self-loving. Bible said in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, unthankful, disobedient to parents, unholy, without natural affection, without natural affection, covenant breakers, 
despisers of those that are good despisers of those that are good traitors heady high-minded having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away you despise the riches of his goodness, the forbearance, the long suffering of Jesus. You despise the goodness of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God. It's available. It's available, but what do you do? What do you do? You stick your middle finger in God's face. You stick your middle finger up at a holy God, God's going to smash you down to the ground, woman. God's going to, woe unto you who laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. That's what Jesus Christ said. Woe unto you who laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. You're going to mourn and weep in hell. You're going to gnash your teeth in hell. You're going to die forever in hell. You're never going to get out. That's why you should repent. That's why you should fear God. That's why you should stop goofing off playing games with God. Because he's going to have the last say. He's going to mock when your fear cometh. He's going to mock you when your fear cometh. He's going to laugh at your calamity, is what it says. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. If the wicked turn not, he will wet his sword. He will bend his bow back. He will make it ready. He hath prepared for them the instruments of death. And he hath ordained his arrows against the persecutors. God's, God has prepared a sword for you. God has prepared a sword for this wicked land. He's furbished it. He's made, he's wetted, he's furbished it. It's glittering. And he's going to give it into the hand of the slayer. And he's going to destroy. That's all it's going to take is Russia, China, to come through here. And absolutely, cruelly destroy your fag-infested military America. Your fag-infested cities America. You are in trouble. You're in danger of God's wrath indignation and wrath tribulation and anguish Bible says but after the hardness of thy penitent heart you treasure up wrath against the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will render every man according to his deeds he's gonna render you according to his deeds he's gonna render you a reward he's gonna reward you with hell He's going to reward you with everlasting destruction. He's going to reward you with everlasting fire. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, not happy, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. And he shall lay the land desolate and destroy the sinners thereof out of it. God is going to lay the land desolate He's going to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And what must a sinner do? You must repent. You must come out from among them and be separate. You must turn away your faces from all your abominations. Turn from your idols. You must turn from your ungodly ways, your ungodly deeds. And you must put your faith in Jesus Christ. No one else died on the cross for you. No one else shed every ounce of their precious blood for you. No one gave their all on the cross for you, but Jesus Christ did. God commended his love toward us, that in while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The love of God as he sent Jesus Christ, and he had him beaten, bruised, mocked, scourged, buffeted, had a crown of thorns placed upon his head, had his head smashed in with a reed, was nailed to that rugged Roman cross, was nailed to it, and what do people do? How do people repay Jesus in this filthy land? How do people repay Jesus in this filthy nation? How do you repay Jesus Christ? You reject him. 
Just like the Jews did, he came to his own. His own received him not. He was in, in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship with the world is enmity against God? Therefore, whoever makes himself a friend of the world is the enemy of God. If you're a friend of this world, you're God's enemy. If you're a friend of this world, you're not God's friend. God doesn't look down on you with a twinkle in his eye and smile at you. It says he's angry with you. He's angry with the wicked every day. Your only hope is Jesus Christ. Your only option is Jesus Christ. Hillary Rotten Clinton is not an option. Hillary Rotten Clinton is a devil. Hillary Rotten Clinton is a witch. Hillary Rotten Clinton is a known Satanist, a murderer. And what are you going to do? You're going to praise her. You're going to praise this murderer. You're going to praise this murderous pig, this swine, this scum. You're going to praise it. They ought to be arresting Hillary Rotten Clinton. They ought to be arresting her. They ought to be putting her in prison and scumbag Bill Clinton and scumbag Barry Satoro and Michael Obama. They should be putting them all in prison. Scumbag George Bush, scumbag Dick Cheney, scumbag Donald Duck. They should all be put in prison. You people better wake up. Jesus Christ is the only solution for this nation. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you're a Catholic, you're headed for hell. If you're a Catholic, you're nothing more, nothing less, no different than your pedophile priest, your sodomite pope, filthy, wicked, and vile. You Catholics put Jesus Christ on the cross every single day with your filthy life, with your filthy life. Repent. Repent, Catholic. Repent, Catholic. You better fear God. You better fear Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, fear not them who can kill the body. After that, they can do no more. But he said, I'll forewarn you whom you should fear. Fear him. Bless you too. It's good to say God bless you. All right, God bless you too. Read that. After that, you can do no more, but I'll forewarn you whom you should fear. Fear him. Fear God, whom after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yea, I say fear him. That's who you need to fear. Fear God. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. That's what you should do. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Keep living this lie? Keep following the devil and his lies? Keep believing a lie. Jesus said, few there be that find eternal life, not many. Few. That's why Jesus Christ said, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it, not many. That's contrary to what this world tells you. This world tells you, oh, everybody's going to heaven. But Jesus Christ said, few there be that find it. Few. The first time I read that in the Bible, I had my eyes opened. I saw all the religious hypocrites. I saw that all these people profess Jesus Christ. They're not living for him. They're on the same broad path. They ain't given their life to Jesus. They ain't surrendered their entire life to Jesus. Their whole heart, soul, mind, and strength is not geared toward the Lord. It's geared toward this world. You care more about this world. You could care less that Hillary Clinton is a known murderer. You don't care. You could care less. You could care less that she's a known murderer. You could care less that her pervert husband is also a murderer. You could care less. you just rather go cheer him on. You'd rather give him a big standing ovation, pay $500 to see him backstage, pay all this money to come to this trash, this garbage, pay all this money for this filth, 
for this lying witch, this child of the devil right here. You people are deceived. You people are deceived and you are on your way to the lake of fire. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers, murderers, the whoremongers, the sorcerers, that's the Clintons as well, sorcerers, users of drugs, practicing sorcery, practicing their farm key in the White House, wicked, 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 better repent. God will repay. God will repay. You better fear him. You better turn from your wicked way before you burn in hell fire. Hell fire awaits the worker of iniquity. Hell fire awaits the disobedient. Bible said, but fornication and uncleanness and covetousness, which is idolatry, idolatry, let it not be once named among you as become a saints, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, but rather in the giving of thanks. And for this ye know that no whoremonger nor unclean person, nor covetous man, which is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not therefore partakers with them. Be not therefore partakers with with them. That's what you do. You partake with the fornicator. You partake with the whoremonger. You partake with this witch, Hillary Rotten Clinton. You partake with the worker of iniquity and you're going to pay. You're going to pay. You're going to lose your soul in the end. That's why you need to trust Jesus. That's why you need to turn to the Lord. Bible says, how shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they be sent? God has sent somebody to preach. How shall they preach except they be sent? Then here to preach, to call you to repentance tell you to turn from your wicked way before you're destroyed. Not much longer. The days go by. Every day goes by faster and faster and faster. Every year goes by faster and faster and faster. And it's coming to a point. It's coming to a headway. It's coming to that great day of judgment. That's what your their whole life is, is going towards. That great day of judgment. That's what it's moving towards. That great day of judgment. The day when you die. Heaven or hell. You're going to die. Ten out of ten people die. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God. The gift of God is eternal life. Jesus said, Whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life for my sake in the Gospels, the same shall save it. What will it profit a man to gain the whole world? What will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul in the end. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? What are you giving in exchange for your soul? Alcohol, weed, pornography, 
What are you giving in exchange for your soul? Having sex with that boyfriend, that girlfriend? Having sex outside of marriage? What are you giving in exchange for your soul? Sin. Sin. Your sin has separated you between you and your God. And because of it, he has hid his face from you. Why don't you trust the Lord? Why don't you turn from your sin? Why don't you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ while you're able to repent? Repent today. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as they did in provocation 40 years in the wilderness. So God swore in his wrath they should not enter into his rest. Take heed lest there be any one of you an evil heart of unbelief. Departing from the living God. That's what you're doing. Departing from the living God. His hand of extension is there for you. But what do you do? You knock it away. You continue to knock the hand of God away. The hand of salvation. You continue to knock Jesus Christ away. Get him away from me. Get that man away from me. I don't like hearing the truth. Get him out of here. Put him to death, just like Jesus on the cross. Put him to death. Let our blood be upon us and our children. That's what those filthy people said. Repent. That's what you need to do. Hillary, Hillary Rotten Clinton followers. Hillary Rotten Clinton followers. You better repent. God is going to require your soul. God is going to require it of you on the day of judgment. And you're not ready. You're not ready for that day if you're going in there. If you're going in there with that filthy woman, that murderous pig, if you're going in there, you're in trouble. You're in great danger of God's judgment. What then? Are we better than they? Nay. No wise. For we have both proved that all Gentiles and Jews are under sin. There's written, there's none righteous, no not one. There's none that understandeth. There's none that seeketh after God. They've all gone out of the way. They've all together become unprofitable. There's no fear of God before their eyes. There's no fear of God before your eyes, America. No fear of God before your eyes. Just you eat, you drink, you rise up to play. Just another, just another event, just another opportunity. What was that? Speak up. Speak up. You're going to talk about the Bible. Speak up. At least come and say something. Don't, don't say it over your shoulder as you're going away. The Bible says to contend for the faith, not be a coward for the faith. Repent. That's the words of Christ. That's the words of the apostles. That's the words of the prophets. Repent. Return unto the Lord, and he'll have mercy upon you. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked forsake his way. That's what you people need to do. Forsake your wicked way. Forsake your ungodly way. Your ungodly deeds. Your deeds are wicked. Your deeds are wicked. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. Resist Hillary Rotten Clinton. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be afflicted in mourning, weep. Let your laughter turn to mourning and your joy unto heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. He shall lift you up. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And he will lift you up. He will pardon you. He will forgive you. He will have mercy upon you. He would have forgiveness for you. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. 
But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. The mercy of God will be granted unto you if you confess and forsake your sin. Confess and forsake your sin by mercy and truth. Iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Happy is the man that feareth always. But he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. It's what you people have done. Hardened your heart. You're stiff-necked. You're uncircumcised at heart and ears. You're crooked and perverse in your ways. This is a crooked and perverse generation. A generation that's pure in its own eyes. A generation that blesses. It does not bless its mother. It curses its father. A generation that's pure in its own eyes and not washed from its filthiness. That's this nation of America. That's this filthy generation that comes to support murderers like Hillary Rotten Clinton. That's this generation that comes to idolize a murderer and a liar. One of the worst families in America. One of the worst families in America. The Clintons. Nothing but extortioners and liars and murderers. And what, of our, what does the police do? They protect it. What do the police do? They protect the liar and the murderer. They protect the one that has shed innocent blood, Hillary Rotten Clinton and William Jefferson Clinton and stolen millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. And these people walk around free in this nation like they're something. Guess who knows about it, though? God knows about it. And guess what God's going to do to scum like that? He's going to burn them in the fire. He's going to melt them like... He's going to melt them in the fire. He's going to melt them like silver is melted in the furnace. That's what God's going to do to scum like Hillary Clinton... Hillary Rotten Clinton and William Jefferson, the pervert Clinton, they're going to be in God's furnace. They've got a special hot spot in hell for all their lies, and they're sold out to the kingdom of darkness. They're sold out to Satan himself. And you people think that these are good people, good, honest people, just good, honest people. As they take money from you, as they stack arenas like this and lie to people and bewitch them with their sorceries and bewitch them. You better fear God. You better wake up. You've turned after familiar spirits. You've gone seeking after wizards and God says he'll cut that soul off. He'll set his face against it and cut that soul off from the land. You go worship the cursed thing. You go worship the cursed thing. God says, Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed because they do error from my commandments. You error from God's commandments. You error from the way of truth. You error from the way of righteousness. You error from the love of Christ. You err from it. You go after the way of Balaam. You go after the way of the wicked. You go after the evil way, the forward way, the perverse way. It's what you've gone after, people. You have believed a lie, and you are far from the truth. The kingdom of God is near to you. The power of God is present to heal. The power of God is present to heal you. But what do you do? You continue to reject. You continue to Hard in your heart and disobey God. You will not survive on that day when he requires your soul. Everybody thinks they're going to be like the thief on the cross and get saved at the last second. If that's what you're banking on, you're going to hear these words. I have called unto you have refused. I have stretched forth my hand and no man regarded. You said it not on my counsel. You despised all my reproof. He says... I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and destruction as a whirlwind cometh upon you. When distress and anguish comes upon you, then you'll call out to God and he will not answer you. 
Then you will seek God early. You will not find him because you hated knowledge and you did not choose. You did not choose the fear of the Lord. You did not choose to fear Almighty God. You did not choose to fear your maker, your creator. And yes, you must fear him. You must fear God. And I said, oh, why should I fear God? Because God has power to kill you and put you in hell. God has power to kill and make alive. That's why you should fear God. Behold, I, even I am he. Here. I, even I am he, and there is no other with me. I kill, I make alive, saith the Lord God. I make alive, I wound, I heal. Yes, God, I killeth, I make alive. I bring down to the grave, I bring up, saith the Lord. Yes, the Lord will require it. Will he come to you and say, thou fool? This night is thy soul required of thee. Will that be you? As you continue to mock God and laugh at his prophets and mis misuse his prophets, mock the messengers of God. Oh, but that day of wrath will come forth. That day of wrath will come forth and destroy and not leave any remedy left. That day of darkness, that day of darkness and gloominess, a day of thick clouds and darkness. That day that's coming, that day that's coming that America is sleeping on, that day that's coming that America is turned a blind eye to, you think nothing, nothing can happen to us. Surely nothing can happen to this land. Surely nothing can happen to good old America. You exalt yourself as the eagle, saith the Lord. You set your nest among the stars. Thence God says, I will bring thee down to the ground. God's going to bring you faggots and you fag approvers down to the ground. Yes, you, you nasty thing. Nasty, wicked, vile, sick in the sight of God. God is going to destroy you. Get all your laughter and mockery in now. Because when you die, you're not going to mock another day. There'll be no more mocking then when you die and bust hell wide open. There'll be no more mockery then. Get all your laughter, get all your mocking in now. Because when God pours out his anger and fury, a lot of you people are going to piss down your leg in fear. You're going to piss down your leg in fear. God will shut you up and put you right into hell. God will put a person like you straight into hell fire. Right into hell fire, buddy. You better fear the Lord. Time to repent. Time to know the God of the Bible. Time for you to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Time for you to start opening up that Bible and start reading what it says about you. Time for you to start opening up that Bible and reading what it says about you and reading what it says about the wicked and reading what it says about witches like Hillary Rotten Clinton and seeing what it says about perverts like William Jefferson Clinton. You ought to start picking it up and reading it. And then you ought to start obeying it. Then you ought to fear God and obey Him because that's what He requires. What does He require of thee? but to fear him and walk in all of his ways and serve him with all of his heart, soul, mind, and strength. God's going to destroy you. God's going to destroy you, mocker. God's going to make you his footstool on the day of judgment. God's going to break a person's teeth out their face just like that. You want to you mock God? Wait till God gets a hold of you. God ain't playing games with people. You think that God's some little pansy sissy, you don't know the God of the Bible. You don't know the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible hates this wicked event. And if you're going in there, guess what? God hates you. So you better repent. That's what you should do is fear God. Fear the one who has power to kill you. Fear the one who has power to make your heart stop on a dime. That's who you need to people need to fear. You need to fear him. You need to fear the king of terrors. That's what you need to fear. Know, therefore, the Lord thy God. That's what you need to know and you need to fear. You need to fear him. That's wisdom. That's understanding. That you're not fearing him. 
You're not fearing him. You're not loving the Lord. You love sin. It's what you people love. You love sin. You love sin. That's what you people love, is you love sin. You love wickedness. You better fear God. That's why you're going to hell, fool. You don't have to go to hell, though. You don't have to be a fool. You don't have to be a God-mocking fool and get hell. You could repent. You don't have to. You could be a fornicator no more. You don't have to be a fornicating whoremonger anymore. You could be a fornicator no more. You could be a whore no more. You could be a homo no more. You could repent. You could be born again. That's what God wants you to do. He wants you to glorify Him. Not sin and wickedness. Not Hillary Rotten Clinton. Certainly not that witch. Certainly not that murderous pig. Because that's what she is. A murderous pig. And that's, what that, that's what's going on in here. Murderous pigs coming to cheer on another pig. Shame on you people. Shame on you. God doesn't raise up prophets to uh, speak peace to you people. God raises up prophets to talk about the judgment and impending doom that's going to come upon your land. Repent. That's the message all throughout the Bible. Repent. Turn from your wicked way. Stop being you. Stop being wicked. You need Jesus Christ. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be born again. Jesus said that except ye be born again, ye shall not see the kingdom of God. This is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. You love darkness rather than light because your deeds are evil. He that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. He that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be manifest. That they are wrought in God. They're founded in God. All things that are approved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But rather reprove them. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship doth righteousness have with unrighteousness. And what hath light with darkness. And what hath Christ with Belial, what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? What agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. Wherefore God hath said, I will walk in them and be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. God would receive you if you would come out from among them, if you turn from your sin and wickedness, if you turn from your ungodly way and your ungodly deeds and put your faith in Jesus Christ, he would redeem you. He would set you free from your sin. He would give you a new heart. A new heart will I give you. A new spirit will I put within you and I'll take away the old stony heart of your flesh and I'll give you a heart of flesh. God would give you a new heart. God would give you a new mind. But if you walk contrary to him, he will walk contrary to you in fury, it says. In fury, he will cause you to eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters shall eat. He will destroy the high places. He will cut down the images and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols whom God's soul abhors. God abhors this filthy event right here. God hates this wicked place and God's face is against that murderous witch, Hillary Rotten Clinton. Hillary is her real name because that's where she's going to spend all of eternity if she don't repent. Hillary Rotten Clinton and William Jefferson Clinton, scumbags. One of the biggest scumbag families on the planet 
murderous thieves and liars. That's what you're going to go listen to today. You better turn from your wickedness. You better fear God and depart from evil before God casts you down to hell. Thou shalt be brought down to hell, saith the Lord, to the sides of the pit. That's where you're going to be. You keep following these filthy people. You keep following these wicked, ungodly people. Why don't you follow Jesus Christ? Why don't you obey Him? Why don't you love God and keep His commandments? Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. The Bible said, hereby we do know that we know Christ, if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. The truth is not in that building today. The truth is not in that building today. Nothing but lies and deception in there today. Nothing but satanic filth in there today. Witchcraft and enchantment going on in that filthy place. Hillary, Hillary, Rotten, Clinton. Hillary, Rotten, Clinton. Hellfire awaits you. Hellfire awaits her followers. You don't have to get the hell you deserve. You can get what you don't deserve, which is mercy, which is grace, which is pardon, from the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation comes through Jesus and Jesus Christ alone. There's no gospel, there's no holiness, there's no love of God inside Fallen Star Center. Fallen Star Center. Just like the fallen angel, the Fallen Stars Center. Wicked and ungodly. Hillary Rotten Clinton on one side and Bob the Fag Queen on the other. Shame on this wicked place. Shame on this wicked place. Shame on this ungodly place. Woe be unto this ungodly place. Hillary Rotten Clinton on one side, Bob the Fag Queen on the other side. Two abominations in one day. Two abominations in one day in this fallen star center, this filthy building, this detestable corrupt building. Not one stone laid upon another will not be thrown down, saith the Lord. Not one stone laid upon another will not be thrown down on the day of the Lord's judgment. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, people. Pretty simple. Heaven or hell when you die. Heaven or hell when you die. It doesn't matter. God's not a respecter of persons. It doesn't matter if you support Harris or Donald Duck. It doesn't matter who you support. If you're not in Christ, you're going to hell. Jesus Christ, the only one who can do anything for this nation. And it starts with this nation falling on its face and repenting for all the babies that it's murdered. Repenting for all the baby's blood that this wicked nation has shed. It starts with that right there. It starts with overthrowing these sodomites out the land, these filthy, detestable creatures out the land, these ungodly, wicked perverts out the land, just like God did in Genesis 19. That's what God thinks about them today. He says they're worthy of death. And not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate. Who knowing the judgment of God, You know the judgment of God. It lingereth not. Your damnation slumbereth not. Jesus Christ said, you serpents, you generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? 
How will you escape it? How are you going to escape the damnation of hell? You generation of vipers who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come. And that day is approaching. That day is getting closer. It's inching closer. The day when you die, it's inching closer. It's getting closer. That day when you draw your last breath is coming. It's coming close. It's drawing near. And what are you going to be found doing? Will you be found in Jesus Christ? Or will you be found living in sin? Will you be found in Jesus Christ? Or will you be found out in the day when God shall judge the secrets of men according to my gospel, by Jesus Christ, according to the gospel? You who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed in flaming fire, taking vengeance upon them which know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. The great day when God will judge you. The great day when God will open up his armory, his weapons of indignation, and pour them out upon this wicked nation. God's against this nation. God has set his face against this nation. God has set his face against the worker of iniquity, those who do evil, those who do wickedly like Hillary Rotten Clinton and her followers and her followers. You're just as wicked as she is. Just as wicked as she is. If you're willing to come clap on and cheer on a murderer, that's a great outward reflection of what your heart really is. That's a great indication of where you stand with God. That you're going to come cheer on this murderous witch. This murderous pig. It's a great indication where you stand with the Lord Jesus. Not in right standing. Not in right standing. You're going to be thrown outside. Outside the gates with the dogs, the whoremongers and the sorcerers, the idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. That'll be Hillary. Hillary loves to make lies. She loves making lies. She loves lying to people. Her and pervert scumbag husband, William Jefferson. Wicked. It's about time you people repented. It's about time. Death ain't, death's just around the corner for some of you. Death is just around the corner for some of you. Not much longer you're going to be in the grave and in hell because you've rejected Jesus. In the grave and in hell. Goofing around with God. Goofing off with your soul. Sowing into your flesh. Living in sin. Living a lie. Following the father of lies. Ye are of your father the devil. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and he abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, because he is a liar and the father of it. You follow the father of lies. You live a lie, and you're going to go to hell with the lie. How about you turn to Jesus Christ and live? How about you turn to Jesus Christ and live? How about you trust Jesus Christ? How about you pick up God's word and read it and obey it? Stop living a life of sin. Stop be believing this grand illusion that the devil's put in front of your eyes. He hath blinded the minds of them that believe not. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not. Your mind is blinded. You follow the way of darkness. You follow after darkness. 
you follow after the way of the wicked, you're going to be cut off. You're going to be cast down. You're going to be trodden underfoot in that day of judgment. You're going to hear from Jesus Christ, who's not going to be a little limp-wristed sissy like you think him to be on that day. Jesus Christ, his eyes are as a flame of fire. Upon his head were many crowns. He has a sharp sword coming out of his mouth that with it he shall smite the nations and rule them with a rod of iron. He's going to dash you into pieces like the potter's vessel on that day. He's going to bind you hand and foot and have you cast into outer darkness on that day if you be found his enemy. If you be found God's enemy on that day, you don't have to be God's enemy. You don't have to be God's enemy. You choose to be God's enemy. You choose to disobey a holy God. You choose to sin against God. You choose to believe a lie. You've turned your ears away from the truth and you have turned your ears unto fables, saith the Lord. You've turned your ears away from the truth and you've been turned unto fables. How be it I have sent unto you my servants the prophets, rising them early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate, saith the Lord. God hates this filthy place. God hates Hillary Rotten Clinton. And God hates you if you're going in there. You're in trouble. You're in big trouble with the Holy God. God's going to burn you in his furnace. God's going to, you're cheering that on, really, woman? You think that's funny? You're cheering that on? You're cheering on your own destruction? Shame on you. You're not going to be cheering in hell. I can assure you that, wicked woman. You, this is the product of the, the fruit that Hillary Rotten Clinton brings forth. Fools. Fools like you who despise wisdom and instruction. It says, he that hateth reproof shall die. You hate reproof. You hate correction. You hate instruction. You hate the way of truth. You hate the way of righteousness. You hate Jesus Christ by how you live. Very, very apparent. You certainly hate God when you're cheering on your own destruction. You think the lake of fire is going to be fun? You think the lake of fire is going to be some enjoyable thing? You think you're going to party in hell with all your good friends? You're going to be in torment. You're going to wail and weep and gnash your teeth forever. Say it a million times. That's just the beginning of your stay in this place called hell. That's why it's imperative you heed the warning of God. That's why it's imperative you heed the warning of God and repent. Turn from your sin. Because that day, the day when you draw your last breath, the day when you breathe that last breath of life out, is the day you'll be judged. And it's one of two places you're going to go, heaven or hell. And if you're living in sin, if you're holding to lies and believing lies, you're disobeying a holy God, he's going to pour out his wrath upon you. He's going to cast you down to hell forever. And I'm here today to tell you, you don't have to go. You don't have to get the hell you deserve. You don't have to get the hell you deserve. You can get what you don't deserve. You can be born again. You can be saved. You could receive eternal life through Jesus Christ. You could forsake all your sin and humble yourself and cry out to God and be reconciled to him through Jesus Christ. But that's exactly what you'll have to do is humble yourself. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourself before Almighty God. Humble yourself before the living God. Stop perverting the words of the true and living God and living in sin, living in darkness, walking in darkness, knowing it not what you stumble. You stumble at these liars. You stumble at the word and whereunto you were appointed. You stumble at, the, at the, these lies of the devil, this lying, cackling witch, this murderous pig, Hillary Rotten Clinton. You stumble at her, bewitch, her bewitching and her enchantments. You stumble at it. 
she's got you in a spell. She, Hillary Rotten Clinton has got you people in a spell. She's got you hypnotized by witchcraft. Hypnotized by witchcraft. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, revelings, drunkenness, such like the which I have told you before, as I have also told you in times past, that they which commit such things, they which do such things, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, neither the effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. You will not inherit the kingdom of God living in your sin and wickedness. You will not inherit the kingdom of God continuing on in your wicked way. You will not inherit the kingdom of God supporting your idols, loving your idols, establishing these idols up in your heart above God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, saith the Lord. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. This is your God. This is who you love. This is who you worship. Hillary Rotten Clinton. That's who you worship. That's where you're going to be. You're going to be in hell with her. You continue to follow this witch. You're going to be in hell with her. You continue to follow this pig, this feminist, this bastard in the sight of God. You better repent, people. You are in trouble with the holy God. You are in trouble with the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible looks down upon you, not with a smile, not with a twinkle in his eye. He looks down on you people, and he's angry with you. God is angry with the wicked every day. The wicked and him that loveth violence, my soul hateth, saith the Lord. That's the God of the Bible. They ain't going to tell you about in your little 501c3 business you go to on Sunday. That's the God of the Bible they don't want you to know about. The, the God of the Bible who hates all workers of iniquity. That's the God of the Bible they refuse to tell you about. Speak to us right things. Speak to us smooth things, preacher. Prophesy deceits to us, preacher. You don't want somebody to come preach to you the truth that this woman is a Satanist and that's who you're going to go praise tonight. You're going to go lift up your hands to this filthy Satanist pig. You're going to go lift up your hands to, Hil to Hillary. You're going to go to hell with Hillary. You're going to go to hell with Hillary Rotten Clinton and scumbag pervert William Jefferson Clinton. Time for you people to know the God of the Bible. Time for you to stop sweeping things under the rug. I didn't see that. I didn't know that. I don't, I don't want to know that, actually. Actually, I don't want to know it. I don't want to know about Hillary Clinton and the pedophile sex ring she's involved with. I don't want to know about that. I don't want to know about all that child trafficking Hillary Clinton's involved with. I don't want to know about all that. Don't tell me about that, preacher. Don't tell me about all the, the child sex rings this filthy witch is involved with, all the child sex perversion that she's involved with, her and her pervert scumbag husband, William Jefferson. Don't tell us about that, preacher. We just want to keep believing a lie. We want to just keep loving on this witch right here who drinks baby's blood and signs in blood a declaration of covenant with the devil. That's what she's done, and that's what you're out here supporting. That's what you're out here going to go worship. Better repent, people. Judgment day is coming. And you're not going to have an excuse on that day. You're not going to have an excuse on that day when God requires it of your soul. 
when God requires you to answer for your life, when God requires you to give an account for every thought, word, and deed, you're not going to have an excuse on that day. You're not going to say you didn't know. No one told me she was a Satanist. No one told me she was a child sex trafficking pervert. No one told me. I thought she was a good person. This person is a major liar. This person is bewitching you. Here to steal your money tonight. Taking your money. Because all you people refuse to do is just look into the truth. You'd want to believe a lie. You, you want to support this child sex trafficking pervert right here. This witch. You want to support it. God hates it. God hates it. Can any man hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do I not fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? You don't hide from God. You, this filth, God, God sees it all. God sees this filthy event right here. God sees the keynote speaker tonight is a known witch, a known Satanist, a known child sex trafficking pervert. God knows about it. And that's what you're going you're gonna to cheer her on. You're going to cheer on this filthy piece of trash in here tonight. Woe be unto you today. Woe be unto you, Temple. You're going to go strengthen the hand of the evildoer that none doth return from their wickedness. You are going to be judged. You are going to face God in judgment. And you're not ready for it. You better turn to Jesus Christ. You better repent. You better fall on your face while you're still able. You better fall on your face now, some of you feminists. You better fall on your face now to the Lord Jesus Christ before you confess that He's Lord and bow your knee on the day of judgment, you feminist pigs. Trouble for you. Trouble for you people on God's day of judgment. Time for you to know the God of the Bible. Time for the, let God be true and every man a liar. God ain't going to lie to you like this witch tonight. God ain't going to lie to you like Hillary Rotten Clinton is tonight. God speaks the truth. All his ways are truth. All his ways are judgment of God of truth. God loves judgment. God's exalted in judgment. And God's going to judge you right into hell if you don't repent. Jesus said that except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Bible said, repent therefore of this thy wickedness. Bible said, repent therefore and be converted. Bible said, repent and turn yourself from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Bible said, repent and turn yourself from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. God commandeth all men everywhere to repent. That you should repent and turn to God and do works meet for repentance. Repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. But you don't want to repent. You want to continue to live a lie. You want to continue to believe a lie. You want to go lift up your hands to this child sex trafficking pervert right here. You want to go lift up your hands to this treasonous witch right here. This treasonous witch. Hillary Rotten Clinton. Wicked. Vile. Sick in the sight of God. You know what I see when I look out here in this line right here? You know what I see when I look at this line right here? Fuel for the fire. Fuel for the fire. Fuel for God's Fire. That's what I see when I look out here. You're going to be fuel for the fire. God is going to heap you upon each other and burn you under the fire of his wrath. You think it's a game. You think it's a game. All you loud, stubborn, clamorous women aren't going to be running your mouth before the God of the Bible. 
He's going to break your teeth right out your ugly face. That's what God's going to do. Read Psalm 3 for details. Crack that stupid phone out and check out Psalm 3 for details when God breaks the teeth of the, of the wicked. God hates this event. God hates this event. You better repent. You better turn from your wicked way. You better come out from this trash right here and get right with God. Because you join hand in hand with the wicked, you're not going unpunished. You're not going to go unpunished. You people are wicked as hell. Shame on you. Shame on you. Woe be unto you. Woe be unto this filthy nation. One abomination on this side with Hillary Rotten Clinton and one abomination on the other side with Bob the Fag Queen. What a surprise here at Fallen Star Center. What a surprise. Bob the Fag Queen on one side, Hillary Rotten Clinton on the other. Two abominations in one day. Two abominations, according to the Word of God, in one day. A man shall not put on that which pertaineth to a woman. Neither shall a woman put on the man's garments. For all that do such are an abomination, saith the Lord. That's what God thinks about these fag queens. Wicked. Sick. That's what God thinks about these feminist pigs. He's going to spew you out his mouth. He's going to spew you out his mouth. He's going to burn you with unquenchable fire. Now the axe is laid into the root of the tree, and every tree which bringeth forth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Jesus Christ, whose hand in his, is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor. He will gather his wheat into the garner, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Jesus Christ is going to burn you with unquenchable fire. Jesus Christ is going to burn the wicked with unquenchable fire. When Jesus Christ comes back, he's coming back to kill the wicked. Revelation 19, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And upon his head were many crowns. And in righteousness doth he judge and make war. And the armies which are in heaven followed him upon white horses in fine linen, white and clean. Bible said, Out of his mouth goeth a sharp two-edged sword, that with it he shall smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he will tread the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. That's the Jesus Christ you're going to face in judgment if you don't turn now. You're going to get the lion of the tribe of Judah. Why don't you get that gentle, meek Jesus Christ who died on the cross for you? Why don't you get him? Why don't you receive the mercy and grace of God now while it's able, while it's available to you? And stop living a lie. And stop playing games with your soul. Stop being a fornicating whore. Stop being a fornicating whoremonger. Stop being a drunk. Stop being a filthy pot smoker. That's what this state's about to vote on. Is legalizing weed so people can smoke weed and be even more stupefied than they already are. That's what we need. We need people to allowed to smoke weed wherever they want so we can be more stupefied than we already are in this nation who doesn't even know whether they're a man or a woman anymore. People don't even know whether they're a man or a woman anymore in this filthy, ungodly nation. You change the truth of God into a lie and you worship and serve the creature more than the Creator who's blessed forever. Amen. You don't like to retain God in your knowledge, so God gives you over to a reprobate mind. God gave the faggots and the dykes over to a reprobate mind. 
a filthy mind, a corrupt mind, a detestable scum-ridden mind, like this scum-ridden witch, Hillary Rotten Clinton. God hates this place. One day, one day, God's going to destroy. God's going to destroy all America with fire and brimstone. Because America has stuck its middle finger up in God's face. America, you have stuck your middle finger up in the face of the God of the Bible. You're in a perpetual state of sleep. And God says, thus saith the Lord, I am against thee, O thou most proud. God's against this proud, haughty nation. God's against this homo-infested nation. God's against this baby-murdering nation. This nation that has done worse than Nazi Germany. This nation has killed more babies than Adolf Hitler took to the furnace. This nation has killed more children, murdered more children, done worse than Nazi Germany. And you people think that God's not going to intervene? You say, surely he delayeth the promise of his coming. Where's the promise of his coming? Where's this God I hear all the time about? Where's this God we're always hearing about? Well, one day that God is going to destroy all you, except you repent. He's being patient. He's being long-suffering with you. He's not willing that you'd perish, but that you'd come to repentance. He's not willing that you would perish, but that you'd come to repentance. That's what God's will is for you. But what does America do? We just keep sticking our middle finger in His face. You just keep saying, we're not going to have that God to rule over us. But in, the, in, the, in your heart of hearts, you know. In your heart of hearts, you know that that day is coming. That day is coming when it shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, that's all the faggots. All the proud. That's all you Hillary Rotten Clinton supporters. That's all the idolatrous Donald Trump supporters. All that do wickedly shall be as stubble. The day that cometh shall burn them up. It's going to burn them up. It's not going to leave them neither root nor branch. That day of God is approaching. That day of God's wrath is coming. That day of God's judgment is coming. He will have judgment without mercy unto them that have showed no mercy. And mercy rejoices against judgment. You're not going to get any mercy, America, because you've not shown any mercy to the babies in the womb. You have not shown any mercy to these babies in the womb. We have butchered over 70 million babies. America, shall I not visit for these things? Saith the Lord, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Oh, it's coming. It's coming. And your laughter is going to fade away to you pissing down your leg. Your laughter is going to turn into you pissing down your leg. Taking a crap right down your leg when the God of the Bible reveals himself. You people won't be proud. You people won't be haughty. You won't be cheering on child sex trafficking perverts like this witch. You won't be cheering on the faggots and the queers no more. You're going to be begging for another chance to repent and it'll be too late. That's why you better receive the mercy now before you get the judgment. Before you get the judgment. The day of the Lord is near. It is near. It hasteth greatly. 
even the day of the voice of the Lord. That day is a day of wrath. That day is a day of wrath. A day of anger. A day of fury. It's not a day of smiles. It's not a day of hugs and rainbows and little Judas kisses. It's a day of wrath that's coming and you people are sleeping on it. You're sleeping on God's judgment. You're sleep. You're saying he surely won't do. He's not going to do anything. There's there's no such thing as God, right? There's no such thing as a God, right? You stupid atheists. There's no such thing as a God. God doesn't exist. You people are the dumbest people on the planet. Absolutely dumb. Stupefied in your pride. Stupefied in your arrogance. God calls you a fool. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. That's what a fool says, that there is no God. You know there's a God. You know what it says about you stupid fools, you atheists? You have held the truth in unrighteousness. You hold it in unrighteousness. You forsake the mercy of God. You forsake the grace of God so you can live in your sin and live in your wickedness and live a lie. Judgment without mercy to those who have shown no mercy. That is you, America. You have not shown any mercy to the baby in the womb. You have murdered over 70 million babies, and this witch, this pig, this trash, this garbage right here going on in here today, this wicked witch right here, is one of the, the biggest murderers in this nation. This wicked witch right here is one of the biggest murderers in this nation. And yet you're standing in line to worship her. Shame on you. Woe be unto you. No wonder the mind of the youth has gone down the toilet in this hellhole that has become America. No wonder the mind of the youth is being sodomized by sex perverts like Bob the Fag Queen on the other side. Yes, this filthy place is holding two filthy events today. One on one side with Bob the Fag Queen and one on this side with that abominable trash heap, Hillary Rotten Clinton. And here you come to worship her. Here you come to worship this pig. Here you come to worship that sex pervert, William Jefferson Clinton. Here you come to clap your hands and cheer on this wicked witch who drinks baby's blood. Here you come. Here you come. Woe be on to this filthy nation. Woe be on to you today, people. Wrath, judgment, and indignation of God is what you people are treasuring up. That's what you are treasuring up for yourself. Wrath and indignation from a holy, 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 righteous God. Wrath and fury from a holy, 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 righteous God. That's what you people are treasuring up. That's going to be your expectation if you do not humble yourself and repent. Lay apart all filthiness. Did you hear that? 
lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. And be ye a doer of the word, not a hearer only, deceiving your own selves. You people deceive your own self. You walk after the imagination of your own evil heart and you say, surely no evil will come upon me. Well, I got news for you, America. I got news for this baby-killing nation, this fag-infested nation. God will bring evil upon you people. God's going to bring evil upon this nation. Bible said, were they ashamed when they committed abominations? Nay, they were not ashamed at all. Neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall. In the day God says when I will visit them, they shall be cast down. Stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk ye therein. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. But you know what them wicked people said in Jeremiah's time? Did you know what they said in Ezekiel's time? Did you know what they said in the prophet's time? We're not going to walk in the ways of that God. We're not going to walk in the ways of the Lord. Therefore God has set a watchman over you saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. We will not listen. Therefore hear ye nations and know, O congregation, who is among them. Hear, O earth. Behold, God says, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their own thoughts, because they have not hearkened to my words, nor to my law, but rejected them. That's you, America. That's you, fallen star sinner. You have rejected God's word and God's law. And you have broken. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. This is your God. This is who you're going to go worship tonight. You're going to go learn the way of the heathen. You're going to go learn the way of the devil. You're going to go learn the way of the wicked one. And you're going to love every second of it. You want to know why? Because you're filled with wickedness. You're filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, backbiters, haters of God, disobedient to parents, unthankful, inventors of evil things, without natural affection. That's what you've become. That's what you've become. The Bible said that you're worthy of death. You're worthy of death is what Romans 1.32 says about you people. You've been turned over to a reprobate mind and God says you're worthy of death. Your only escape is Jesus. Your only hope is Jesus. Your only hope is to surrender your will to God's will. Your will to the Lord Jesus Christ's will. That's your only hope. That's your only option. Your nation will continue to get worse. The people will continue to wax worse. People don't even know what sex they are anymore. People don't even know whether they're a human being or an animal anymore. That's what a reprobate mind looks like and acts like and talks like. Nothing but a bunch of sex perverts. That's why they would have Bob the Fag Queen on the other side. Is that where you're all going after you're done with this filth? Is that where you're all going when you're done with this filth? You're going to get a free entrance into Bob the Fag Queen show on the other side? Is that what's going to happen? For all you perverts, you're going to get a free ticket of entry into Bob the Fag Queen show on the other side? Is that what you're going to do? You people need to fear God. You people need to understand 
that the judgment of God is at the door for this nation. The judgment of God is nigh, America. And when that day comes, you people are going to piss and defecate yourself. When that day comes, you will piss and defecate yourself in fear and utter terror. You won't be smiling. You won't be laughing. Your mockery and your rejection of Jesus Christ will come to an end. Hillary Rotten Clinton. That's who you people worship. Hillary Rotten Clinton. And that filthy scumbag pervert, William Jefferson Clinton. Shame on you. Woe be unto your soul, America. The show of their countenance doth witness against them. The show of their countenance doth witness against them. Behold, they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. You declare your sin as Sodom. You hide it not. God says, Woe be unto your soul. Woe be unto your soul. You better repent. Not much longer. All your high looks, all your proud, haughty looks, God is going to bring them low. All your proud, haughty looks, all your high-mindedness is going to come crashing down when Jesus Christ visits you. When Jesus Christ visits this fag-infested, baby-murdering nation. This fag-infested, baby-murdering nation. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. The curse of the Lord is in the house of all America. Homosexuality is a curse. Homosexuality is a judgment of God. God gave them up to that because they rejected Him. No homosexuals born a homosexual. God made man upright and blameless. Man chose his own inventions. Man chose to sin against God. Man chose to go astray. Y'all like sheep have gone astray. They have turned everyone to our own way. And the Lord hath laid upon him the iniquity of us all. Jesus Christ laid upon him, bore upon him the sin of all mankind. He died for you on the cross that you might be saved. He shed every ounce of His precious blood for you that you might be saved. He went to the cross willingly and died for you. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon Him. With His stripes you can be healed. With the stripes of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin. It says, if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses from all sin. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we shall be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew Him not. You don't know Jesus. You love this world. The Bible says, love not the world. The Bible says to love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. 
and the world passes away in the lust thereof. And he that doeth the will of God, he abideth forever. It's those that do God's will that abide forever. You're not going to abide forever. You're going to burn forever because you do not abide in God's will. You do not abide in Jesus Christ. Therefore, you will not abide forever. You will burn forever. Because Jesus said, If any man abide not in me, he is like a branch withered and cast forth. Men gather them and throw them in the fire, and they are burned. That is what will happen to you on Judgment Day. That's what's going to happen to you. You're going to be gathered, you're going to be thrown in the fire, and you're going to be burned because you rebelled against the commandment of God. You rebelled against the Holy God. You rejected the commandments of Jesus Christ. You rejected the salvation of Jesus Christ. You rebelled. You were stiff-necked. You were hard-hearted. You were stiff-hearted, impudent. Impudent in heart. You rejected the salvation that God offers you. God offers you a new heart. God offers you a new mind. God offers you freedom from sin. God can set you free from your sin through Jesus Christ. God can set you free from pornography and from fornication, from idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, emulation, variance, strife, seditions, heresies, fornication. God can set you free from your sin. Jesus Christ delivers from the power of sin. He takes you from out of darkness into His marvelous light. He takes you out of darkness and He gives you a new heart. He gives you a new spirit. He puts a new spirit within you. Your spirit has gone after wickedness and corruption. You profess to know God, but in works you deny Him, being abominable and disobedient. Unto every good work reprobate. You need to come into the marvelous light of Christ. You need to be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. You need to become born again. You need to give up your sin. Forsake your sin. Cease from your sin. Turn away from your sin. And turn unto the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. Call upon His name and be saved. Call upon the name of the Lord and be redeemed. Be redeemed. His soul which is lifted up is not upright in Him, but the just shall live by faith. True faith in Jesus Christ yields obedience. True faith in Jesus Christ loves the Lord with all of its heart, soul, mind, and strength, and loves its neighbor as itself. And true love warns. True love acts. Love not in word and in tongue, but in deed and in truth. In deed and in truth. You don't have love. Your love is fabricated. Your love is false. There's only love found in Jesus. Only love is found in Jesus Christ who died on the cross for you. That's true love. That a man would lay down his life for you. That you could be saved. Even when you were his enemy. Even though right now you're his enemy. You can still be saved. You can still turn. That, that's the mercy of God. That's the goodness of God that He ain't killed you and put you in hell. That's the mercy of God that He ain't killed you and put you into hell fire. That's the mercy of God. That's the long suffering of God. For if God spared not the angels that sin and cast them down to hell, and delivered them unto chains of darkness reserved unto the day of judgment. And he say he saved not the old world. He saved not the old world, but Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, condemning the world, bringing in the flood upon the ungodly. And he turned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overflow overthrow, making them an example, and to add them afterwards who should live ungodly. God used many examples through His judgments. He drowned the whole earth with a flood. He turned the first colony of Sodomites into fire. Even they had a chance to repent. Even they had a space to repent. 
just as you're getting a space to repent. But there's nothing new under the sun. All things continue as they were before. There's nothing new under the sun. All things continue on, even to this very day. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Turn from your sin. Turn from your ungodly ways. Turn from your ungodly deeds. Turn to Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible said, He that believeth is not condemned. He that believeth on him is not condemned. He that believeth not is condemned already. You don't believe people because you don't obey. True people who believe obey. You don't obey. You may believe, but the Bible said you believe in one God, you do well. But even the devils also believe and tremble. Even the devils believe and tremble. Even, Hil even Hillary Rotten Clinton in there. Hillary Rotten Clinton, even she believes and trembles. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Faith without works is dead. Jesus Christ is calling you to himself. He's calling you to repentance. A new heart will I give you, a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the old stony heart of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, saith the Lord. He will cause you to walk in his statutes and keep his judgments and do them. Cast away all your transgressions whereby you have transgressed and create a new and new heart and a new spirit for why will you die? I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord, but rather that he would return from his ways and live ye. He wants you to return from his way, from your ways. He wants you to return from your ways. God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked would turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye, for why will you die? If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how then should we live? How will you live if you die in your sin? How shall you live if you die in your sin? Jesus said, I surely say unto you, ye shall die in your sin. For if you do not believe that I am he, ye shall die in your sin. And the Bible said that he that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. He that doeth not righteousness is not of God. You do not which is right. Therefore you are not of God. You do not that which is right. Therefore you are not of God. You are God's enemy. You are under the law and judgment of God. And you will receive His wrath. You will receive His just judgment. The Bible said, For if we have sinned willfully after we receive the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice or sin except a fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. That's what you will look for. Judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversary. God calls you his adversary. God calls you his adversary because you sin willfully. God calls you as adversary because you walk in the flesh. You walk after the flesh. You live to walk in the flesh. You live to please the flesh. They that are in the flesh cannot please God. Bible said the carnal mind is enmity against God. You're carnally minded. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. 
There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. For the wicked are like a troubled sea, which cannot rest. You're like a troubled sea. You cannot rest. You have no rest outside of Christ. But those that have entered into Christ's rest have ceased from their own works. For we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. And when you were quickened, you were quickened by Him when you were dead in trespasses and sins, when you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince and power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. That you people, the spirit that works in you is the spirit of disobedience. You're disobedient to a holy God. You reject the commandments of the holy God. You reject the word of Jesus Christ. Bible said, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. You despise the Word of God. You despise the cross at Calvary by how you act, by how you live. That's why it says to love not in word and in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Real love is demonstrated through action, not words. God's going to wave bye-bye to you as He casts you into hell, wicked woman. You better fear God. You better stop following this witch. Stop following this pig. Stop following this ungodly swine, Hillary Rotten Clinton, this enchanter, this cackling child of the devil. That's what she is. She should be thrown in jail. That's what should happen to her. She's a murderer. She's an extortioner. She's a thief. And not only is she stolen billions and billions of dollars, she's stealing from you people tonight. And she's a part of helping you go to hell. She's your blind guide. She's your blind leader of the blind. You're going to fall into the ditch. You're going to fall straight into hell fire with her. You better repent. This is your wake-up call, Tampa Bay. What's God got to do? Does he got to send a Category 5 into Tampa Bay? Should God send a Category 5 into Tampa Bay and wreck this city, this fag-approving city, this baby-murdering city? Is that what God needs to do? How many more times will God spare His hand of judgment on this filthy place? How many more times does God... How many more hurricanes does He have to send? How many more times does He have to spare you people? For you people to start waking up and start realizing... You better repent. I bet a lot of you people online, you were thinking about God when you didn't know what was going to happen with that hurricane. I bet you were saying, oh, please, somebody pray for me. And then the time, it was soon it was over. Guess what you people did? You went, you ate, you drank, you rise up to play like, like it's just another day, right? Just another day. It's just another day for me to live ungodly and wicked. You reject Jesus Christ. You reject the salvation of God. You reject the mercy of God, the grace of God, the goodness of God. Therefore, you're going to receive the severity of God. You will have judgment without mercy, Tampa Bay, because you have shown no mercy. This nation will have judgment without mercy because it has shown no mercy. No mercy. But mercy rejoices against judgment. Mercy rejoices against judgment. God wants you to have mercy. That's the whole reason you're alive today is because He wants you to get mercy. That's the whole reason you're alive today. He's still giving you an opportunity to repent. He's still giving you an opportunity to turn from your sins. He's still giving you an opportunity to forsake your wicked, evil way. He's still being merciful towards you, and you don't deserve it. You don't deserve it, but yet, He's still long-suffering towards you. His ways are not our ways. Thoughts are not our thoughts. They're above it. They're high above. Natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. 
natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. That's these people at the top. That's these people at the top, the Donald Trumps, the Kamala Harrises, the Hillary, Hillary, rotten Clintons, the sex pervert, lying pigs, William Jefferson Clinton, natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed except they repent. Except they repent. And except you repent, except ye repent, he shall all likewise perish. The grass withereth, the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word, this is the word by the gospel which we have preached unto you. The word of the Lord Thus saith the Lord God, I am against thee, Tampa Bay. God and his face is against this nation and against this place right here that has two abominations in one day. On one side, Hillary Rotten Clinton, and on the other side, Bob the Fag Queen. This place is an abomination. Fallen Star Center, you're going to fall off the cliff right into hellfire except you turn. Except you turn from your wickedness. Repent and be converted. Repent, cease from your sin. For the destruction of the transgressors and sinners shall be together. And they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. Children are their corruptors. They have gone away backward. They've provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. We have provoked a holy God to anger with our sin and wickedness in this city and across the nation. It's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time till God brings famine till God brings pestilence, till God brings the sword upon the land, only a matter of time until God brings forth his four sword judgments. Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, and I stretch forth my hand upon it and break the staff of bread thereof and cut off both man and beast from the land, Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, yet they delivered their own souls by their righteousness. He's going to stretch forth his hand. He's going to break the staff of bread. He's going to cause famine. He's going to cause pestilence. He's going to bring judgment upon this wicked nation. Except this nation, this people which is called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Seek my face and pray and turn from their wicked way. And I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land, saith the Lord. That's the only way this land can be healed. That's the only way things can change is if people start humbling themselves and start repenting before Almighty God. Start forsaking their wicked way. Start turning away from their sin and wickedness. That's the only way things can change. No person that can come in the White House can change anything. Only Jesus Christ, only the God of Heaven, your Maker, your Creator can change anything. As long as you continue in this filth, this trash, and support wicked witches like this, you treasure up wrath, you treasure up anger from a holy God, and He will destroy America. You provoke God to anger with your sin and wickedness. You provoke God to anger with your baby murder. You provoke God to wrath with your homosexuality and your homo-approving. You will be destroyed. Repent! I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. I set the way 
of life that weigh a debt before you, blessing and cursing. Wherefore, choose life. Choose life in Jesus Christ. Choose life in Jesus Christ. Repent. Repent or perish. 